Diddy's made a lot of enemies over the years. Now one of them is Wendy Williams and it's time for some payback. So well that it got back to the East that she was there in the office and that Shook was meeting Justin Combs and possibly holding him in his arms and that there was a photographer taking a picture and that wasn't the picture that we needed to see on our end or that we wanted the world to see at all. So I remember that day, it, was, it hit us like, you know, a rocket launcher or something, it hit us hard. Uh, I remember getting off the phone, it was almost damn near half a day, maybe two, three o'clock, and maybe in the afternoon, Windy Day was promoing, announcing something big was going to happen. Not Windy Day, Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams, radio personality, TV personality, was announcing in her super highly rated afternoon show that might have been even syndicated then, that she had big news coming that involved Justin Dior Combs. Perked my ear up. I said, yo, what's going on? We started calling everybody. He was calling me. He got a heads up. He started calling the bosses at Hot 97. Uh, the street team was listening. They heard. The executives heard. <laughs> we instantly all left the office, 19th Street, some in cars, some running all the way down to Hudson Street, where Hot 97 was, to get down there just to handle the situation and make sure that that picture was not exposed to the masses and was not delivered through Wendy Williams. In all of that frick of fracas, if you look back, history will tell you that she was let go from Hot 97 over that and had to go to another city to operate out of. And then she was able to come back and be the Wendy Williams that she is now today with all the success that she's had. Crazy, man. So that's the reason why she got fired from High 97, because of that picture. That picture of Shug Knight and Misa. They fired her. I think that situation led to her being fired. That was not the only picture that got leaked. Now, Wendy Williams also leaked a photo of P. Diddy pulling down another man's pants. What did I mean about the power puff had? With the radio stations in New York, motherfuckers didn't breathe hard if Puff didn't want them to. If Tupac had anything salacious to say about Puff in that interview and Angie Martinez told Puff or let Puff, Puff heard it and he told them you can't play it they wasn't going to play it. Puff got one of the hottest DJs off of Hot 97 because she wanted to put up a picture of him getting his pants pulled down. You understand what I'm saying? Puff had power. Speaking of that, right, I'm happy you brought that up. Kirk Burrows, I did an interview with him some months ago. And he told a story about Wendy Williams. She got fired from Hot 97 because she had a picture of Puffy. And she was saying on air that she was going to reveal the picture. If you don't mind, because he told me the story, but he didn't go into detail. He never told me about what was in the picture. So if you don't mind, give me the story from your point of view. And what was in the picture? We were in Cancun. And we were on our way to the Island of Women. You understand? For whatever reason, dude was playing with Puff. He went behind him and grabbed his trunks and pulled them down. When he grabbed his trunk to pull them down, some girls that was taking pictures. They took the, that picture and emailed it back to Wendy Williams. <laughs> Wendy Williams said she had him in a compromising position and like it was gay porn or something like that. And she was going to put it out. So they stopped her from putting it out. And they got her fired from High 97 because of that. Well, I think that we were in California at the time. And Puff was shooting a layout for either Rolling Stones or Billboard. Right. He was shooting a layout for either Rolling Stone or Billboard when he had the white suit on. What happened was is that Wendy had somehow showing people that email. You hear me? Puff told Hot 97 if they didn't get rid of her before he got back in New York, that they was not going to get any music from any of his friends, any of the record labels executives that was cool with him. Everybody was going to boycott their station. We was out in L.A. for about three days before we landed back in New York. She was fired. Wendy was one of the hottest OAPs off Hot 97 back then. But Diddy showed her how powerful he is by getting her booted off the station and blacklisted too. You 
officers are saying that Puffy fired at least one gunshot into the yeah, ceiling of the nightclub, boy. which is like ridiculous. Um, this whole thing happened back, of course, in December of 99. Um, the comment came during the opening statements. And three people were injured during a shooting. Of course, Shine and Anthony Wolf Jones, the um, bodyguard, will also be standing trial. Um, they're also saying that when when the gunshots rang out, now whoever threw the, um, you know, pulled the trigger, whatever, Puffy ran out of the club so fast and got into the waiting SUV that it wasn't until he got into the truck that he realized that he left Jennifer, Jennifer. behind, <laughs> along with his bodyguard, Anthony Wolf. He just, like, ran. Well, eventually, it's Jen Bay. Jennifer and okay. Wolf made their way to the SUV without Puffy. Right. They ran 11 lights to elude the cops. Um, supposedly, it was Puffy, although people... People are saying they saw a female hand tossing a gun out the window. Uh -huh. And um, then when the cops stopped them, they found a second gun, of course, in the car. Right. All four of the occupants, the driver, the bodyguard, Puffy and Jennifer, were handcuffed and taken down to the precinct. And um, eventually, Puffy and his bodyguard, Wolf, were overheard talking about their plot to bribe the driver to take the rap for the gun. And Puffy was overheard saying, and I quote, because the prosecutor said this, I can't go to jail. I'm Puff Daddy. Now, apart from discussing Diddy's case on air, she also had multiple situations where she takes calls exposing Diddy. Now, on one surprising occasion, he actually called in. Hello? Hi, Mr. Combs. Oh, okay. Hi, Puffy. Hey, what's up, girl? How are you? Just, 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 just chilling, just, you know, just watching this news bugging out, man. Yeah, I was just um, doing the, the story on you and Jay-Z in donating a million dollars to the American Red Cross. Yeah. That's good work. Yeah, you know, I mean, um, it, it's just crazy just looking at it. It's def definitely a sad time, and, um, you know, we j j just we were both on the phone talking. Yeah. Felt like, felt like if we could do something, we needed to really kind of do something now. Yeah. And um, so so we that's what we decided to do. Mm. And, you know, it's it's just, it, it's crazy, like, you know, so hopefully the money will help, and, and we're we just praying right now. Our prayers are just that some help gets there right now. Why and, did you, why? And, you know, ho hopefully, you know, the government will stand up and do what they're supposed to do. But I need you to let me know approximately when your CD is going to be coming out and we're going to be doing this interview that yeah. you've been promising. Yeah, yeah, we, we, I mean, th me and you are speaking on the air for the first time for a great cause. And, um, you know, we're going to do a, uh, a, 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 a interview with each other, a something, something that people could understand how we have, you know, gotten our relationship back on track. Right. Um, you know, in, in the next couple of months, you know, we're going to, but I definitely, you know, wanted to do this with you now. I think yeah. this is even for a better cause, better okay. situation. Yeah. But then also after all of this is, is, is taken care of and hopefully God turns things around in a positive way. I mean, you get busy with our unfinished business. Exactly. Because you promised me a no holds bar, according to yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're we okay. going to have it out. That's what you want. So yes. we're going to do it so we can put it past us, you know? Yes. And, um, you know, it's, it's funny how uh, tragedy br just brings people together. Like, I like how you and Jay have joined together and in our own little way. I even like how you've called here and we're talking about this and, and I'm showing restraint on my tongue and I'm keeping it just where it is because this is yeah. this is big. I'm glad that and you're... We, we, and we, we know that's a lot for you, Wendy, and we appreciate you, yes. you know, keeping it focused on the people and, and you know... You know, God will bless you for that, and you know, I, you know, I, I'll remember it. And when we get together, you can let it, you can let it loose. I'm gonna let it loose back, though. You okay, know? okay, fine. All right. Well, look, <laughs> if you stay on the phone for any more than ten more seconds, then I'm about to change the the turn, the tide. So let's yeah, get off yeah, the phone. I, I gotta go, ma. Holler right. at you. God bless everybody. The question now is, where did it all go wrong between them? Well, here's your answer right here. Yes, it's very effeminized, but be very clear. There were lots of homosexuals in hip hop back in the 80s, too. Um, and, uh, you know, that was, that was, um, you know, what's worse? You know, hip hop wearing skirts or hip hop being closeted and having a plethora of kids to prove manhood that, you know, and, and denial of something that shouldn't, you shouldn't have to deny, which is your sexuality. So I hear what Jamar is saying, but uh, we come from a very homosexual era of hip hop as well. Uh, there was a radio personality once upon a time, her name was Wendy Williams, and uh, she was practically burned at the stake for um, talking about such. And now it's all come full circle. There were many situations, none of which to talk about, but there were many situations um, back in the day in, in my career. And um, 
it's all coming full circle now. So, do you think? Do you think now with people like Frank Ocean coming out of the closet, even though he's not exactly a rapper, but he definitely overlaps into the rap community? Mm -hmm. um, do you think that it's, it's we're gonna have a a time where it's cool to be a gay rapper? Um, I don't know because I I still see uh, Frank Ocean as being one amongst many but one and that's good but you know and then there was uh, the notion of this radio DJ in New York um, who is in denial so that just goes to show you how far the homosexual movement within hip-hop and sports still needs to go it is politically correct to be accepting but behind closed doors people are still hating and Jason the basketball player is one but it will be a long time I think before another uh, actively playing in the locker room ball player comes out and it's unfortunate but that's that's where I am you know on it you know Frank Ocean good for him and Jason good for him now maybe she wasn't gossiping all those years I feel like she was opening the doors to the truth with so much evidence out there right now, I bet Wendy Williams is somewhere feeling vindicated AF. Wants to have more children. And this time with his girlfriend, Cassie. Well, you know what? Already has six children with three women, including hood triplets. <laughs> you know what a hood triplet is, right? That's, that's when you have these two girls are twins. And then this one here was born at the same time in another state with another woman. Because Puffy and I have been through things in the past, but now we're in a good place, so I'm yes. not gonna mess this up. Yes, right? Like, anyway, but yeah, he loves her and admitted it and went into it like extolling the greatness that is Cassie. And to be a stand-up father. Yes. You know what I mean? And maybe he's not the marrying kind, but he definitely is a stand-up um, father and seemingly boyfriend and a stand-up businessman. My mindset's a little bit different than the average older person. I don't think she needs a ring. I think that it's great that he wants to have kids with her and, and um, good luck. Please sit down, please sit down. I've got something very important to tell you. After 11 years of romance, Puffy and Cassie are officially broken up. I mean, it's everywhere, including People Magazine, so you know it's true. Well, according to Love B. Scott, Puffy is now dating. <laughs> so, Puffy wants Cassie back. Oh, it's been all over social media. He's using it to try to help him to get support. Cassie posted a photo of herself the other day. Here's the photo. Oh. And he commented, love you forever. Once upon a time, there was a music mogul who sent his all-girl group to beat my ass in front of the radio station. Oh. Fact, fact. And I get downstairs and find this girl group jump out of a gypsy cab no. to come after me to kick my ass. And I always like to say, I could be anywhere I want, but I choose to be home or where I want to be. People like you, I don't really understand. His actual birthday was November, November 4th. Why do you have to drag it out? Like, we, <laughs> we already know you're the king of everything and your sparkly jacket and stuff. Six years ago on Sway's Universe, she talked about the bad blood between her and Diddy, explaining how she's forgiven him. But maybe I think she forgot to forgive the man. We, we have this clip of something P. Diddy said about you. What? Please welcome Sean Diddy Combs. Oh, that's a Diddy on your show, man. I, 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 I must say, it's been a long time coming. Yeah. And I want to just tell you how proud I am of you. Because, because I, I, I don't think you get enough credit for being the first one to really cover our culture. And, and, and just understanding that it's news, not just saying that's all that you cover, but you started shedding light wow. on our culture and our people, and thank you very much. Thank you, I accept that. Yeah. <laughs> and with that in mind, <laughs> I know I pissed a lot of people off, including you. Mm -hmm. 
But this is a full circle moment, yes, everybody. Yes. How, how, that listen, man, I, I, when I saw that, knowing that the history dope. behind all of that. Because uh, you know the history. Yeah, well, break it down for our listeners. No. I wasn't, okay. <laughs> no, I don't feel like it. I'm exhausted. You're exhausted of the history. But y'all have bad blood for a while. Real bad. Real bad blood. The worst blood. The worst blood. You almost mm -hmm. he wanted to run you out of New York at one point, right? Run? Well, really? not run. You know, like push you out of New York ran at out. one point. Oh, he was. Oh, he had you ran out. You give him full credit for that? You get, Okay, cool. He had you ran out of New York. And then y'all came full circle. Now he's on your show. How did that feel for you? Like Wonderful. It, yeah. It felt wonderful. You know why? You know why? He's number one. He, that's my error. Mm -hmm. uh, I helped him do bad boy. He knows. He knows. Mm -hmm. He knows. We were all in the trenches together at a particular time. And um, just good. Felt great. It, 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 real great. Mm -hmm. And a real um, accomplishment, hopefully, to show maybe some of the younger people mm -hmm. or somebody, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. somebody can try to, you know, do you in. But the the power of forgiveness and the power of going on and making it. Anyway, no, I, I appreciate that. And I will uh, cherish that moment. And, um, and... Did, do, I, did do, I have to do any due diligence beforehand? Or that was the first nope. time when you saw him on stage? Uh, the excuse first... me, what yeah. did I just talk to you yeah. about when you <laughs> tried to say hi to me in the hall? Yeah, yeah, don't talk to me, Sway. <laughs> yeah, go back in the room. Come on now. He wanted to come. Um, he wanted to come. Yeah. Okay. Puff wanted to come to the show. It's been a long time coming because, you know, schedules have to be negotiated and whatnot. But he showed up. He smelled great. His stomach is flat. Heather, he was handsome. Mm. And uh, he ain't going nowhere. No. Clearly. Can't be stopped now. Can't stop, won't stop. Bad boy for life. Bad boy for life. That was a big moment for those yeah. who know. That was, and I, and I was happy for the both of you. So, Wendy knew all the industry secrets for years. It was getting ridiculed for it. But guess who's laughing now? Six beautiful kids. And I am particularly <laughs> fond of your twins because I love a twin situation. But I, lo I love that you have, okay, six kids, three babies' moms. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and they all taken care of. Uh, you know, that's right, you know? No, 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 but I, but I, I want to tell you the story about that. I, I, I met all of them in the same year, so I've known huh? all of them the same amount of time, but th we, we were friends. Uh, no, 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 listen. Li Whoa, why did I do that? Um, <laughs> this, these are people that were my friends and then I would get my heart broken and then my friend would be there and I would fall in love with my friend and then I would get my heart broken again. So and, are you in love now? Yeah, I'm in love now. <laughs> yeah, but you've been in love with Cassie for a while. Like you yes. guys, this is, I mean, I'm not saying that, that you're sloppy or anything like that, <laughs> but I know that outside of your baby's moms, and taking care of your kids and your empire, mm -hmm. you do like to party, okay? Yes. What is it about her that, you know? I mean, it's just like when a record comes on, the way she moves, yeah. like, when I look at her, the way she smiles, oh. um, the way I see her look at me sometimes when I wake up and she's already awake, oh. you know? What, 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 what is going on here? Now, I'm gonna be honest, like, they didn't have my tickets right the year before, so I said, I'm gonna stun on them and sit on the stairs as my woman looks good and takes those pictures. 